In this video, I want to show you how you can manually update your WordPress installation. So, hi, my name is Tim. Welcome to my new video. In this video, I want to show you how you can uh, manually update your WordPress WordPress installation via an FTP connection. So, um, yeah, to um, there can be several reasons why you want to um, update uh, your WordPress installation manually. So, the first reason, of course, uh, there is something wrong with your WordPress installation with your WordPress website. So, when you have a blank screen, uh, for example, or or an, a strange error message uh, on the website screen and you don't know what it is. So this uh, can be often that it is um, has something to do with the WordPress version themselves, that the WordPress, WordPress version is outdated and you need to update it. And um, yeah, so normally you go into WordPress and update in the back end and update it uh, automatically um, by pressing a button or you have it set to auto update. So you don't even have to press any button. So the WordPress update will be made automatically. But uh, yeah, in um, uh, many cases there's a problem that you get like I said a white screen and uh, or a strange error message so this can often something related to the WordPress core files and um, now I want to show you how you can do this manually manually so of course you need an FTP account or an FTP connection to your website so this is uh, pretty simple you go to your um, to your hosting company and log into your hosting account and then you go to the cPanel and there you find an option for an FTP account. If you don't have an FTP account for your website already, you can do this really, really quick. So um, you go to the cPanel and search for FTP and then there's a button make a new FTP account and then you can create a new FTP account and um, yeah, uh, and um, make a password and a username and uh, this is what you have to save. So, and if you made this, then it's, um, yeah, then it's pretty simple. So uh, first of all, you need um, the new WordPress version. So go to um, wordpress.org uh, slash downloads, or you go to wordpress.org and then you see in the menu, in the top menu, you can see uh, here download and extension, and then you can click on get WordPress. And here you can see, Here's the latest WordPress version. So you can see in my case, it's WordPress uh, 6.3.1. And um, yeah, then click here and download it. So it takes a while. Um, I think it's around uh, 30 to 50 megabyte, I think, WordPress, uh, WordPress download. So it takes a while depending on your internet connection. And um, yeah, when you download it, then um, of course you have to extract uh, extract the, the zip file because you are downloading, downloading a zip file, then um, extract it. And then in this file is the complete are uh, the complete WordPress files you need for the update. So, um, OK, then um, let me show you real quick uh, for this um, demonstration. We are using this website here. Uh, it's a German website. Uh, I made this for a customer and this website needs an update. But uh, I think it doesn't matter. Uh, the language doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, we want to update this website in this case. And um, here we can go to um, our now we can go to our FTP program. OK, now we are on our FTP, FTP program and I already established a connection with the website. Here you can see um, I am in this window. I am in the WordPress folder of the website. So you can see all the all the folders here, CGI bin, CSS, uh, images, JSC, WP admin, WP content and uh, WP include and um, a few other files. So what we need, um, we are um, want to replace the WP admin and the WP include. So because this, um, these, these two folders, WP admin and uh, WP include, this is, uh, these are the folders that need to be updated. So um, first of all, um, we have to um, go uh, to WP content. So we click on WP content and here you can see uh, um, our plugins, for example, our installed plugins our themes and some other plugin files. And what we should do now, um, we go to plugins and um, 
we want to rename this folder so we uh, right click it and then we click on rename and now i can um, add a stop after plugins so and this um, stops all the plugins on the website so if we go to our website now let me show you now the website will look very strange because we are see we are stopped all plugins and um, yeah now everything is messed up and our website is completely trashed <laughs> but we will fix this so this is because i uh, named i stopped all the plugins with the stop sign and now we have to go back and now we have to um, delete, fully delete the WP admin and the WP includes. So um, only these folders and all the in all the files inside. So um, only WP admin and only WP includes. We don't want to touch any other files. So um, especially uh, WP content. So this um, we don't have to don't uh, have to delete because there are all our content. Uh, stuff is our all our con content stuff uh, in there and so now we um, uh, mark the wp admin and the wp includes okay this doesn't work so we um, first of all we delete um, wp admin let's uh, delete this so we go to right click it and uh, click on delete and then uh, we confirm this and now it's uh, the, the deleting process has begun. So you can see on the top left corner here, um, yeah, our FTP program is working and we are deleting all the files in the folder and the folder themselves. And after this is finished, then we will um, delete the next folder. So, okay, now this uh, WP um, admin folder is deleted. Now we want to delete the WP includes, then right click it and click on delete. Then yes, we have to uh, click on yes. We give it permission. And this of course takes a while because there are a few um, files inside and a few large files inside. Okay, so now both folders are deleted. Now you can see we only have the have the um, WP content left and all these um, small folders here. And um, here on the left side, you can see I am right now in the um, folder uh, in the WordPress folder I downloaded. Here is a fresh um, WordPress installation. Um, you can see uh, here's the WP admin, the WP content and the WP includes. So this is um, the file I downloaded. This is on my Mac right now. And um, now I want to upload these new folders, including all files um, to, to the um, host. Um, so that uh, the website um, has all the fresh data, all the updated data. And um, yeah, so then let's do this. So um, first of all, we can update, uh, we can um, upload the WP includes folder. So to do this, I simply mark this and then click once on it and then right click it. And then I uh, uh, click on upload. And of course, this will uh, take a while and <laughs> I will be back when the upload of this folder is finished. And after this, we will uh, have to upload the WP admin folder. And um, yeah, then I will be back. OK, so now everything is um, uploaded again and we have um, our two folders here again, the WP admin and the WP include that we previously deleted and uh, re-uploaded. So um, you can see my upload queue is empty and from time to time it can happen that um, uh, a few files fail. Uh, in the upload process then you will see uh, a failed transfer that you that um, there is a number and then you simply can click here and select the files and um, uh, put them back into the queue into the queue and um, yeah re-upload uh, or upload it again so um, this can happen uh, it's a little hiccup but um, yeah it's no problem so okay now everything is good and um, yeah for sure um, 
only um, delete again only delete the WP admin and WP include don't touch any other files because the other files here for example these um, HD access and um, the index uh, file these are all um, uh, these are all have uh, data stored that are very crucial for your website so they are modified especially for your website so don't touch them and don't touch the other folders here so okay now perfect and um, now what we have to do now we have to go um, to our wp content again here and um Previously, we have um, added the stop sign in front of our plugin. So now we have to um, rename it again and remove, click on rename and remove the stop. So now our plugin folder is active again and all our plugins are working again. And yeah, that's um, pretty much it. This is how you can manually update your WordPress installation. So this is nothing else than um, the automatic up update um, on WordPress do for you. But now you uh, did it uh, the manual way. So um, let's go to our website here and um, click on refresh and let's hope everything is good again. Yeah, perfect. Now you can see our website is um, is good again. Everything looks perfect and great. So uh, yeah, now our website here is updated uh, to the latest version. In my case, uh, 6.3.1. And uh, it depends on when you see this video, then maybe um, you have a another WordPress version. So yeah, that's it. So now you know how you can manually update your WordPress installation with an FTP program. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, then um, write them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as fast as I can. And also if you found this video interesting or if you learned something new in this video, then uh, yeah, uh, press the like button. And also I would appreciate if you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will publish uh, more and more interesting and helpful videos around WordPress, web design and e-commerce and uh, all the good stuff. So yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.